This is the Goldbrook Covered Bridge, also known as Stowe Hollow Bridge, and more commonly known as Emily's Bridge. The small wooden covered bridge located in Stowe, Vermont, was built in 1844. I was drawn to pay a visit to this location because of the mystery surrounding claims of haunts that take place on the bridge just after dusk. This area is not only beautiful for sightseeing in the fall, it also hosts a dark secret. Many people visiting the bridge have experienced disturbing paranormal activity, reports of scratch marks appearing on cars or being touched by an unseen entity. Strange noises have also been reported by the neighbors. They claim to hear footsteps, ropes being tightened, and screaming when no one is on the bridge. People that have parked on the bridge say that they have heard banging noises on the outside of their car and a sound like dragging across the roof of their automobile. Many others have reported seeing an apparition around the area of Emily's Bridge. The paranormal activity at this site seems to be driven by one force, though there are several stories that you will hear while in Stowe about a local heartbroken young girl named Emily. In one of the stories, Emily was to have met her lover at the bridge. They were to elope against her parents' wishes. Emily waited at the bridge, but her lover never showed up. She was brokenhearted and hung herself from a rafter inside the bridge. In another story, Emily was to meet her groom at the church and marry, but her groom-to-be never showed up. She left in a fury, and while driving at a high speed, she took a turn too fast and drove her horse and carriage over the bank and onto the rocky brook below, killing herself and her horses. And in the final story, after Emily's father found out that she was pregnant, he demanded that they be married. Emily's boyfriend hung himself on the bridge, and after the birth of her twins, Emily also hung herself on the Gold Brook Bridge. While each of these stories are interesting and tell a variation of the demise of a young girl, there is actually no documentation to confirm the tragic death of Emily on this bridge. However, Emily is said to be buried in the town's cemetery. If you are in the area, consider visiting this National Historic Location. Because of public interest with the haunting, you should plan your visit during the day. The local police patrol this bridge nightly, ensuring that nearby residents are not being disturbed by ghost hunters, local partiers, or anyone that might be tempted to deface this historic site.